Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, what I want to do is show you a portfolio example and walk you through some of the core principles that every UX designer should be striving for to have within their portfolio. As I mentioned in my last video, I gave a pep talk on things that you should be working on as we move into the new year and your portfolio is the most important thing that every UX designer should be working on. A lot of designers ask me, Mike, do I need a certificate? Do I need a college degree? I don't think you need any of those things. I don't have that. What you need is a strong portfolio that displays your skills and your ability to get the job done. So I'm gonna walk you through, I'm going to my desktop, walk you through um, this example, and I'll wrap it up after this video with a few words. All right, enjoy. All right, guys, welcome to my desktop. As I mentioned, what I'm gonna be doing is walking you through an example of a portfolio that has some of the core principles that I feel you should be striving for when you're building out your personal portfolio. One thing to keep in mind as I go through this example is that there is no right and wrong on how you build out your portfolio. Designers get hired every single day having many different types of portfolios. What I'm saying here is, especially for those of you that are new to UX design, even for those of you that are veterans, you can probably watch this video and pull out a few nuggets and maybe cross check to see if some of these principles, these core principles that I'm going to be talking about is covered in your personal portfolio. So remember this, there is no right and wrong. You don't have to copy every word that I'm saying. You don't even have to copy what I'm showing you exactly. You can if you want, but there's no right and wrong. What you wanna focus on are the core principles that I'm going to be covering in this video, all right? So before I get to the example layout and show you some of the details, let's go over to my whiteboard and I wanna talk about the things that I feel you should focus on. Over here on the left-hand side, these are the core principles that I wanna get across. And over here on the right are things that I feel a lot of designers focus on, but I feel you should not worry about any of these. All right, let's just talk about these really quick. All right, so number one, the core principle, number one that I feel every designer should, should, should strive for is let your work do the talking. Too many times, designers focus on the bells and whistles, all right? They're focusing on getting the right transitions between each page, getting the parallax scrolling to work, you don't have to worry about this. I, I say, don't even worry about bells and whistles, all right? Let your work do the talking. You don't have to worry about having the best website. You don't have to worry about having the perfect code. Actually, there's Webflow, so you have no, there's a no code movement going on right now anyway. You don't have to worry about SEO. Reason for all of this is because when somebody comes to your portfolio, they're actually clicking on your link from a resume or they're clicking on your link from LinkedIn. So there is no need for you to worry about SEO, perfect code, all that stuff. They've they've scanned over your experience, they scanned over your resume, and now they wanna see an example of your portfolio, examples of your work. So that's why I say let your work do the talking. And number two, you wanna have eye candy. You want to engage instantly. And what I mean by that is if I'm a hiring manager, I've read your resume, I clicked on your link, I went to mikelock.com or whatever. I wanna be, I think you need to engage the recruiter or engage the hiring manager instantly, all right? So what you're seeing here is an example of screenshots that I've taken from Dribble that I feel is very engaging to the eye, right? So as a human being, as a recruiter, as a hiring manager, if I clicked on a link from a resume and I landed on a portfolio like this, I quickly scroll down because users tend to click on a website and instantly start scrolling. As I scroll down here, the first thing that comes to mind is, wow, this, this designer is pretty talented, okay? This is talented, I'm subconsciously, I'm engaged. I see like some eye candy here, this looks really beautiful. And there's a lot of things that run through my mind at this point. I'm thinking, did this designer do all this himself or herself? What uh, role did this person play in all of this? I want to know more information. Secondly, within the split second, I want to click into one of these and see more detail, which takes me to my other thing, which is you want to go deep with multiple screens. All right, multiple screens. All right, and you want to document. All right, I wouldn't say plus. You want to document your process and then everything needs to be quick and easy and very simple 
And what do I mean by that? If you go back up here to the bells and whistles part, so many designers focus on building WordPress websites that has these cool transitions and video backgrounds and all this stuff. To be honest with you, I don't want to load. All right, it has to be simple and quick. All right, loading. So many times I go to a website and there's something's loading because you focus on downloading and building the best WordPress website with the amazing transitions. No, all right, don't focus on that. I want to look at your work and I want to see just examples of your work and it needs to be quick and easy. Right off the bat, this particular example website does a few things, all right? Let me just show you what I'm doing here. This website is white background, white space, and all I have here are engaging hero images. Engaging hero images that is there to entice the recruiter or hiring manager to click into to see more of a showcase in details and documentation of how I think from a design standpoint and more examples of my visual design work, my completed process. So as I see these images, the only thing here for me to do is click in and see details, which takes me to the other example layout. So as I click into one of those projects what i have here is i repeated the hero image you don't have to repeat the hero image there this is just an example of what i how i laid this out so let me just zoom out here on this pdf and show you an example so long form all i'm doing here is documenting my work so i have a problem i talk about the problem the solution and then i go into some of the documentation like how i came up with my designs um, researching inspirational mood boards sketches wireframes and then i get to the high fidelity mockups, multiple screens. All right, so here I have three, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15 screens for this particular project. And what I would do here, I would take it a step further. I would allow the user, the recruiter, the hiring manager to click into one of these images and see the high fidelity version of this application or of this project. In a nutshell, sums up what I consider to be the perfect portfolio example where you engage them right off the bat let your work do the talking very quick and easy and allow them to see the multiple screens so as i click in here i can scroll down and i see the multiple screens and you've also documented your work how you want to lay this out how you want to document your work the images you want to show it's all up to you all right but that's pretty much it you want to document your work and allow them to see multiple screens of interactions that you've built. What this is going to show is your thought process behind each of your designs and uh, give them some more information that you are a very talented UX designer and you can do great stuff. Let me show you another example. Uh, so here's the website or the website example in Envision. So this would be like the real life resolution. You can have it wider, you can have it shorter, it doesn't matter up to you, right? So at the top here, I have my name. I have a link that just gets back to this page here. I have an about page. And then you have a contact page, a way for them to contact you if um, they needed to reach you through um, your portfolio. So here are the screens. Again, engaging dribble style hero images. I click into this, takes me to the detail page where You've now documented your process and show me high fidelity mockups, multiple screens of that project. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me just recap a little bit of what I mentioned here. Let your work do the talking, show eye candy, engage and engage them instantly. Go deep with multiple screens and be sure to document your work. Make sure your overall portfolio is quick and easy and very simple. All right. Don't worry about loading time. Don't build anything that requires a heavy loading time that's a no-no don't worry about bells and whistles don't worry about having the best website don't worry about having the perfect code and don't worry about seo all right guys hopefully this was helpful what i've just showed you is examples of videos that i put together in my membership if you want to get access to videos like this on a free trial 14-day free trial go over to my site mlux academy click on membership you'll get to this page this page is my older sales page which i'm going to be updating pretty soon you can click in here where it says $19 a month. What you will have to do, you have to enter your email and a credit card or your PayPal information just to get the free trial. But what I recommend you doing is do that and cancel within 14 days because what I wanna show you 
is examples of what I have in my membership. Right now I have about 90 videos and I have all these types of videos that have different sections. So I have UI design strategies and tactics. These videos run from about 10 minutes to 25 minutes each. I have a section on UX design principles and methods. You can watch all those videos there. Here I have a section on portfolio tips and advice. And what I've just demonstrated to you is, is a, a snippet of uh, one of these videos. So I have portfolio series part one, two, and three. What your portfolio should look like. So I just, if you see over here, I've just walked you through an example of a video that I just presented here. And then here I show you how to build that layout in Webflow. In addition to that, I have other sections here that says career strategy, advice, and tips. So I go through that. Um, and then I added a new section here, Webflow Essentials. So I show you how to design a dashboard in Webflow or actually build it out in Webflow. And you can watch that. You can see a snippet of uh, the dashboard there. And I have a podcast, some inspirational stuff that you can get access to right now currently about 90 videos in my membership again tons of stuff there i recommend if you are new to ux design i recommend you giving this a free trial if you continue after the free trial it's only 19 dollars a month but i recommend you at least going through the free trial and canceling the membership within 14 days just to get a, a snippet of what i teach and what you can possibly learn if you're interested in getting started in ux design all right Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk soon. All right, guys. Hopefully, you got a few nuggets from that video. One thing that I did not mention in the walkthrough is I showed you a bunch of examples, and you might be thinking, Mike, that's very overwhelming to have um, that level of work. You just got to start with one project. Start one project at a time, maybe two. One project, somebody asked me, how long does one project take? One project could take a few weeks. So you're looking at a few weeks for each project. If you can get one project out, over the next month, over the next two months, have two projects out over the next two months, then you just continue to build on that. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed the walkthrough. If you have any questions, leave me a question in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get to that. Or if you want to ask me a personal question, one-on-one, um, -on -one, go to my site, MLUX Academy, use the contact link there and uh, ask me a question there. I'll be happy to get back to you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.